guys, it's Caroline Raven. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing another deck review. The weather is kind of crazy right now. So there's like sun and then there's dark clouds. So I don't really know what to do with the lights today. Am I even in focus? I don't know. So if this is gonna be good for you guys anyways. Today I will be doing a review of Mono X. Mono, isn't that like hand? Or is that mono instead of Polly? Is that the one where you get to have several wives? I never remember. So Mono X, is that when you only get to have one X? Is the other one are erased by history? Facebook at least. Well, let's see what this is. We're just gonna open it up right now. Perfect. Did you guys see that? Can we like rewind and watch that again? <laughs> open it up right now. Perfect. That was like so satisfying. Front looks like this. And we have the side, looks like this. Back, there's a there's an L here for some reason. Here on the side it says, designed by Luke Wadey, manufactured by United States Playing Card. On the bottom it only says where it's manufactured and they'd have the designer on the back. So they have a seal up here. So let's open this thing up. There's an X on the flap. Cards are not wrapped inside. Manufactured by the United States Playing Cards. And I mean, they have been stepping up their game, which I think is really good. So we have two jokers that seem to be identical to me. And the back design looks like this. Okay, so you have an X in there, you see that? When I look at it from afar, it changes like, okay, maybe it's harder to get that in camera. But you see that? All right, what else do we have? Dun, dun, dun. A double backer. Add card with some information on it. It says Mono X 20, 2018 Poker Sites Playing Cards. Thank you for supporting this deck. For updates and information on future releases, please follow online. And we have Instagram, Luke underscore Wadey underscore design. And on Facebook, Luke Wadey Design. So the Ace of Spades looks like, uh, looks like the back. And then we have Mono X 2018, and then we have the L. So what does the L stand for? Is that for Luke? It's a Luca who lives on the second floor. Custom design, it's actually really, really cool. Let's take a look at this side here. Because of the back design, we actually have the cards being marked on the sides as well. Oh yeah, they are indeed marked. As you guys can see here, we have a marking system on these cards uh, that are connected to the back design, which I actually think is a really good idea. This is what the spades turned into. So we have half a spade and then we have the design coming back, which is actually really, really nice. Same thing goes with all of the court cards. We have half of it be normal and half of it be changed. We have the diamonds looking like this, and this is slightly brighter, I think, than the other one. And we have the clubs looking like this. As you can see, the hearts look like this, and uh, the the hearts and the diamonds, they have a grayer uh, shade than the other ones. The, the other ones are black, black. Okay, let's see how these cards handle. Back up, Raven, back up. Use PCC, they handle good. They handle nicely. Hmm. Ooh. Let's do the waterfall, all the classics. These feel good. I did get a note from Luke saying a couple of things about this deck, and apparently this is the first of the series of Mono X's. It's with the traditional cut on the crushed premium stock, so it actually feels really, really good. They decided to do a limited run of these, so it's only 2,500 of these printed, So they're and they're not gonna reprint, so it's gonna be a one-time kind of thing. I think uh, the sun came out, my face changed. I have to be back here so you guys can see. Oh, my double chin, look at that. So what I really like about this deck is that it is, it's a limited run, which is great for a deck like this. And also I like that they use a premium stock and it's really, really nice. The paper stock is beautiful. It's also really good how he decided to use the same pattern for everything. How cool is it that he actually decided to do like half of the cards be split like that? So half of it is normal and half of it's uh, part of the design pattern. Apparently this summer there is coming out another one. Because these are really cool. Like I like how he decided to go with only one color palette. I've said this so many times, but if there is something that I would change is the 56th card. Is that if you design playing cards, make full use of all of the cards. If you need to have your logo, if you need to have your information on where to find you, add it on the box. There is so much room and there's so much you can do with it. Other than that, I thought it was beautiful and this is a limited run as I said. So if you guys want to win it and have it in your collection, all you have to do is to comment something that you liked about this video in the comment section below. So this is a 24 hour giveaway contest. Today is the 5th of July, is it? Yes it is. And it's gonna be ending uh, July 6th at 7 p.m. Viking time. And make sure to double check if I wrote you back because I have some decks that some people have won that I haven't been able to send out because they didn't claim their prize. Starting this week, I'm gonna be doing two videos a week. One is gonna be the Friday giveaway thing that I always have been doing, well, always have been doing it for half a year now, which is crazy, you guys. Let's celebrate that one, it's so good. 
I actually did something and I stuck to it and you know, uh, I'm very proud of myself. So I'm doing another one too every week where I am not only reviewing, I'm actually keeping it for myself. Because uh, I have so many cool jacks that I don't want to give away and some of the reviews I've done, I've said like, oh, I'm not gonna give this away. And I feel so cheap, even though it's my stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this deck. And if you do want to win it, you know what to do. And I will see you guys back, well, next week, I guess. Take care, bye.